you're sitting on your desks do people come with uh, is it the understanding of the law is it how much justice costs in this country what essentially are you hearing from them um Ijungu, you'll notice that uh, most kenyans are not empowered by knowledge so you'll find you'll receive all manner of issues from ongoing cases complaints about even how their cases have been handled mm -hmm. you'll receive um <coughs> sorry cases whereby desperate cases whereby uh, most of these Kenyans cannot even afford uh, legal representation. Mm -hmm. In such cases, you find that uh, we create a database and we forward them to institutions that can actually handle. Okay. The society also has a pool of pro bono um, uh, lawyers where we also send some of these uh, cases to them for actualization and actually for them to be presented in court and for uh, proper representation for these particular um, individuals. You'll also realize, um, you will also receive uh, complaints or um, individuals who have members in uh, prison. Okay. And all they want is <clears throat> advice in terms of how do they uh, handle certain issues, where they still feel that um, the case was not handled properly, where do they go, what next. Okay. So the kind of cases that uh, we receive, or rather the kind of people who appear in our desks, cut across both, both from um, fresh cases that need to go to court, land-related issues, family-related issues, women-related issues, mm -hmm. um, ongoing cases. So it cuts across board. Criminal, you know, most um, individuals, most Kenyans don't even know their rights okay. in terms of um, as um, accused person.